Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran and today's video I actually want to highlight the patch 8.2 catch up mechanic and catch up mechanisms everything we know so far and how you'll be able to catch up every one of your alts or even if you want to reroll a class it looks like the system for patch 8.2 is actually pretty robust it might even be the fastest catch-up system i've ever seen we'll talk about the good as well as the controversial side in today's video first of all how does the 8.2 catch-up system work so it'll be happening in the brand new zone of najatar maybe a portion of the catch-up will also be happening in mechagon but it does seem like the good bulk of it is going to be from the vendors in najatar if you go to one of the vendors on the Horde side or Alliance, for my footage, I have me go into the Alliance vendors with the Ankoa, which are the fish people of Najatar Zone. You actually can see some of the different gear that these guys have. Now, this system feels very familiar, especially if you played back in Legion, primarily from the Broken Shore new zone that was added in later patches. The gear back then had different slots for the headpiece, shoulder, chest piece, everything but the weapon. And now we're gonna have every piece of gear on the table besides a necklace. So this will be the vendor where you'll be able to get the pieces of the gear. The upgrade system as well as how you earn it is also very interesting. First of all, let's talk about the basics. How you earn the currency to unlock the catch-up mechanisms. That's going to be simply by doing world quests in the Najatar, but also certain quests also have a little bit extra of that currency as a drop. So, so far it doesn't seem like it'll be a currency that'll be all over the place, but rather it'll be something that you'll get from world quests. We are not sure if you'll be able to get it through every world quest and every quest in Najatar or only specific world quests. There's a lot more for us to speculate, but I'm going to take a guess that killing rares and looting treasure chests also has a chance to net you a little bit of this currency. Although I can't really confirm that because 8.2 is still in the testing phase, not everything has been implemented. So while I'm speculating, I don't have any 100% proof. Although if it works like any other catch-up mechanism, again, I'm kind of just going back to the Legion Broken Shore. It's going to be very similar and probably familiar. So this is something you could do daily on one character or multiple characters. But how you can apply it to catch up an alt or catch up a brand new character, or simply if you want to reroll to a whole nother class, has completely beyond that implementations. So the basic thing you'll be able to do as your main character that you're getting these pieces on is get the currency to buy the actual token slots for the headpiece, shoulders, everything else. And maybe there's a potential for those pieces to be Warforged or Titanforged, but also very, very unlikely. Because of the upgrade system of how you upgrade these pieces of gear, you'll be using these upgrades called Ajaran Perlin Kits and Ajaran Perlin Enhancements in order to upgrade your pieces of gear. With the Perlin Kit, you'll be able to change that piece of gear from a 385 item level to a guaranteed 400 item level piece of gear. And then afterwards, you can use the Ajaran Perlin Enhancements to enhance that piece of gear now there is two types of enhancement kits one of them is fairly cheap and increases the item level of that piece of gear by five item levels up to a maximum of 430 the other one is a little bit more costly but it will increase the item level of your piece of gear by 15 also with a cap of 430 now there's a couple of things more that makes the system even more interesting First of all, the fact that you can get a piece of gear and grind it out outside of raids or dungeons or PvP to get you a 430 item level piece of gear. How big is that item level? Now, to us right now, with 420, 425 being the max and our current mythic raids dropping us 415 item level pieces, this seems huge. This seems like this is such a massive item level jump but when you compare with the rest of the raid, that's going to be around a heroic item level piece of gear, which is still massive. The fact that you can get yourself a heroic piece of gear outside of a Mythic Plus dungeon or a raid or even PvP experience just from grinding this currency, logging on daily. I mean, that whole idea, whether you like it, whether you don't, it is massive to be able to get a character caught up simply by doing dailies. 
The caveat to this upgrade system is actually right now on PTR, and this could change in the future, the tokens for the Perlin kits, as in the items you use to upgrade the item level of a piece of gear. The kit itself that transforms a piece of gear of 385 quality to a 400, as well as the Perlin enhancements, both the 5 item level I pop or 15 item level I pop, all are account bound. This means that essentially you can kind of gear your alt by playing your main. The more you play your main or even other alts and amass this currency across your account, the more potential you have to be able to give your brand new character that you're trying to catch up. Maybe an alt you decide to make your main and completely roll into another class after grinding this system for a few weeks now you have enough of this currency stored up where you can just have let's say you're going from a rogue to a monk the monk has zero gear you buy a token from head to toe head shoulders chest pants everything you need and then you use your alts to upgrade those pieces for your brand new main so your monk goes from let's say a bunch of 385 pieces here and there to 430 in a couple different slots within minutes the potential to the system so far with what we have is pretty huge. What we have right now in patch 8.2 is a system that is account bound. It may change in the future, but right now I could see myself utilizing the system a lot. This seems like a much easier system because I'm able to play my main. I'm able to play my characters that I can actually get progress done. They can get work done. And if I do decide to try hard a bit more on alt, I can get a brand new character up and running very very quickly with very very little to no time and actually get him close to heroic animal pieces of gear the fact that you can get gear from more than one way for world of warcraft besides raids and dungeons and pvp i'm actually all for it i always thought world of warcraft should have more than one way to gear in the game maybe you're somebody who has a guild who wants to do raids who wants to get in the raids and do heroics do mythics get the best gear from that Maybe you like doing Mythic Plus, you can actually gear your character out for the most part fully just through Mythic Plus alone because the item level of the dungeon drops keeps scaling higher and higher. Same thing goes for PvP. If you decide to gear yourself through PvP, I've been perfectly fine with that, but I always thought there should be a casual way that somebody could actually gear up a character. And in a sense with the system, you can actually get somebody to heroic level item level if you decide to grind out this new currency. I'm perfectly fine with it. I always thought again that there should be more than one way to play World of Warcraft and gear for the end game stuff of World of Warcraft. And if somebody decides they just want to invest a lot of time and really grind out every single day to work towards a certain goal, that's always a good thing. So I'm actually kind of happy for the system in more than ways than one. One, it's going to be easier to gear up my alt. Second, if somebody does decide to make this their end game thing, this is going to be at least something they can do in order to get their character caught up. Maybe a more direct way to finally dive into the dungeons and raids because the item level requirement that the groups themselves set is always increasing. I mean, have you ever tried getting into a group with a decent item level with LFG? Most people expect for you to be like 10 to 15 items above what the average is supposed to be anyway. Now I want to talk a bit about the hot takes of this brand new system. With this new system we are transitioning from BOD which is the tier dungeon base item level for the mythics of that tier is 415. And transitioning into the brand new Ajara raid with the brand new normal item level is 415. So in a sense, we are losing the power that every one of our characters has gained within the last tier. Blizzard has done this once already, going from old gear into BOD. In a sense, it devalues the character that you've been grinding in the last raid for the item level. And it's almost like a massive reset for everybody. That means my character that I've been grinding out in Mythic Plus Dungeons, PvP as well as Raids now became a lot less valuable because they're doing the big reset with this brand new raid. Now the gear that I had from BOD, challenging boss fights and putting all the endless hours buying endless amounts of consumables just to get that gear, just to gear up my character to its max potential, now I have to do it all over again. And it doesn't even start me at, let's say, a heroic item level, but it starts to be down on normal, so I have to do this regrind all over. In some senses, people feel like that this gives players that, let's say, play a main, a rogue, or a warrior, or whatever it is, their main always has higher to get to in terms of gear, in terms of skill. 
and in terms of character growth. There's always something to look forward to when it comes to playing your main character. But still the devaluation and endless hours doesn't feel all that great. And in a sense the game does kind of try to put you from let's say mythic BOD into the heroic of the next raid because you'll technically have the item level for normal so you should be good to go for heroic and then into mythic. It still feels kind of like a downgrade. It feels like you have to regrind all over again on that main character. It could be the problem that the item level that you're jumping from from let's say the best top tier gear in the last raid to now equivalent of a normal in the brand new raid the item level difference is just way too high and in some cases it can ruin the satisfaction of the game then the treadmill it feels like you're back on the treadmill of grinding and getting gear and it's almost like a reset for everybody that reset might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. I guess time will tell, but I want to ask you guys in the comments below, what do you think about the big resets the Blizzard has been doing with gear? What do you think about the brand new catch-up mechanism that we have in patch 8.2? What are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you not like it? And if you do not like it, let me know what about it you don't like and how would you fix it if you were behind the wheel? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see all of you guys in another video.